So most of you guys know that I've been making tech videos for the last two and a half years. It started with me unboxing Dollar Tree tech products on the floor of my childhood bedroom, and now it's my full-time job, which has allowed me to drop out of college to make videos for a living. But in order for me to become a true tech creator, there's one thing I still need, a Tesla. All right, we just arrived at the Tesla. <gasps> Yo, I see it. There it is, there it is, brother. Yo, what the heck, bro? This is crazy. Here we go. Ah. Hey, wait, my, I, they have my, my profile keys? picture. All right, we're inside the car. This feels so crazy, bro. This doesn't feel real. Okay, congratulations. Welcome to the Tesla family. Everything looks good in here. Steering wheel. I don't know. Everything feels solid. We're going to do a little, little test drive. Bro, this feels so weird. Isn't this crazy? I've always, I wanted a Tesla ever since I was a kid. This has zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds. Oh, I love these seats. These seats feel so comfortable. You ready, mom? Here we go. That's crazy. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? Bro, it's so smooth. Just listen, this is so quiet. Like if I was recording in my Nissan, it would be so loud, I'd have to use the microphone, but it's so quiet in here that I can record and barely, I can whisper. I can whisper. All right, I just got home. Bro, driving this thing is insane. I may have gone some speeds that were potentially on the gray area of legal. It feels like nothing else I've ever felt in my entire life. Flooring it and feeling it, oh, the adrenaline. The handling's incredible. The acceleration's amazing, as you already know. It just, it's such a fun car to drive. Like it doesn't, I don't think it'll ever get old. And I've heard from other people who own this car that it doesn't get old, so. I told you guys in the vlog before this that I want to wrap this thing in a matte PPF, but the company that's gonna be sending it out says that they won't have any in stock for a couple more weeks, which is kind of a bummer low key, but I still wanna be able to protect the outside parts of the car, especially the parts that get hit by gravel, dirt from the road. So I got a solution. I found this product randomly on Amazon a couple weeks ago, and I think it just might work. It's called Road Warrior Plus. It's a temporary paint protection. This is what it looks like. It actually doesn't look that bad. I put it here on the front, the entire front bumper. I did right here where rocks are gonna come out from the wheel. I did right here just in case, and also on the back bumper. So everything's pretty well protected. Look how much stuff it caught. The drive back to my apartment is only around an hour and 15 minutes, but still, oh my gosh. Bugs here, bugs here, a massive bug here. And who knows how many rock chips and stuff flying up from the road I prevented by using this coat right here. For the last hour, I've just kind of been driving around, just having fun with this car. Uh, you should put your head back, Costa. Are you serious? Yeah. Really? Three, two, <laughs> one. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god! That is so what in the weird. Zero to 60 okay, in 2.9 seconds. That is like a rocket ship. It is. That's oh my so gosh, weird. My heart stopped. Okay, three, no wonder mom two, screamed. One. <laughs> oh my lord! What? It's so fast. It's crazy. That they say people have thrown so up. Crazy. You can feel like your brain going back, right? But by far, one of my favorite aspects of this entire car is the autopilot, bro. The car updated last night and updated to the latest version of autopilot, which means that I don't even have to touch the wheel anymore. It uses this little camera right here to tell if I'm being attentive to the road. So realistically, I could just like start navigation back home and not even touch the wheel. So that's what we're gonna try to do. All right, the car is in drive and autopilot button is right here. All I have to do is press this once and the car is in autopilot and should be taking me home now. There we go, it's going by itself. I should probably should switch my camera right here so it can see that I'm being attentive to the road. So right now the car is doing everything by itself. I haven't touched the wheel once. I just set navigation. Now it's gonna try to merge back onto this road. I don't know if you guys can see, it's pretty busy here today. It was actually very cool to see how it Okay. Bro, this is actually really scary. There we go. We're back on the road. It is accelerating fast, but this feels like it's very, very confident and isn't afraid to use the accelerator to like get back on the road. This is so good. This is really, really good. Guess what happened, y'all? Guess what happened? A big old screw in the back tire. <laughs> it's been two days. It's been one day. I was literally about to go pick up a burrito that I ordered. Bro, you can literally hear it hissing. I was able to get that tire fixed. They actually fixed it for free, which is kind of wild. Discount tire, shout out. But I have to say, my favorite time to drive this car is at night, because look at this, y'all. In all the new 2024 Model 3s, there's this LED strip that goes all the way around the front of the car, making it feel like a literal cockpit. You can go in the settings and change the color of the lights to literally any color you want. So if I want it to be pink or red, I could do that. But I'm kind of rocking with this blue today, so. However, one thing I don't really like about this car is that there is literally no tint on any of the windows when it comes out straight out of the factory. This thing is a literal fishbowl. I can see everyone and everyone can see me. So earlier today, I scheduled a tint appointment for next Monday to get all of these windows tinted. And I'm so looking forward to that. I really love this auto park feature. You can just select a parking spot on the screen and it'll pull into it backwards for you. I've never been good at backwards parking, so this is a lifesaver for me. And contrary to what most people think, charging is actually super easy. I'm here at a Tesla supercharger right here and all you have to do is grab this, press this little button right here and the thing will open. 
plug that bad boy in and we're charging right now the car is at 44 percent which is equivalent to 134 miles and it's only going to take us 20 minutes to charge back up to 80 percent look at that this thing is charging at 489 miles an hour and if you have a home charger you can just plug it in overnight and it's topped off every single morning but man i've just honestly been feeling so thankful recently this car was literally a dream of mine like less than three years ago. God has blessed my efforts so much that I was able to achieve what I thought I was not gonna get for like 10 years within two. It's just a physical reminder of what hard work can get you and it's honestly motivating me to go even harder. I'm so excited for what God has in store for the next five years. It's gonna be crazy. If this, if this is what can happen in two years, imagine what can happen in the next 10. Literally anything is possible, y'all. If you have a dream, you have a goal that you wanna achieve and you feel like it's impossible, it is not. Everything is possible. Hard work beats talent every single time. So go after it, just do it. I also want to thank you guys for making this possible. This is literally a dream. The audience on this channel is so incredible, y'all. I love reading your comments. So let me know if you guys want to see anything specific about this car or if you have any questions that I can answer in the comments for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.